Welcome everybody. As as already mentioned, as my brother there saying hello. So there's going to be competition between me and my brother in the jungle and me. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these junglist things going on because uh, now we're really getting closer and closer and closer to nature. Welcome, Madam Cheryl. You get a gold mark because you are the first one to be in the house. And uh, I don't know where Nadia is. She doesn't say hello yet. So we're waiting, Nadia. Where are you? Uh, uh, so we are going to move on. I'm also going to take you. Oh, my brother, not me. My brother is going to take you to Likom Island where he is broadcasting from, not from London. And I'm in London sitting here doing the usual thing. And uh, yes, as usual, you're encouraged, encouraged to interact with me, your host. I say anything, I can link you up with people. Or you can link me with people and so on. So the next one I'm going to show now is called Bluefields Maple Carnival. That one is happens in Nicaragua. And the media describe it as uh, the media describes it as ethnic groups event. Oh, come on, what's ethnic? You know, what's ethnic? Come on, man, stop being discriminative. And uh, this celebrates carnival every year in May. And uh, this is this is a carnival to go to because once the carnival starts, every night there's a party. Every night there's a party. So I'm going to take you to Nicaragua, and then we're going to move on to other places like Nigeria, Africa, and other places like that. So Nicaragua, here we come with uh, uh, Bluefields Maple Carnival. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, here comes my naughty brother again. What does he want? What is he going to talk to you about that I can't say myself? Ah, uh, that's my brother there. He's going to join in the jungle again. He's going to say something. And this time he actually made a mask. Would you believe that? You guys were encouraged you to make this and that. My brother made a mask in two seconds. You're going to see a mask in two seconds. Now, who else is in the house? Let's see. So we go share already. Then we've got Nadia. Hooray! I like your brother. You like my brother? Oh, Nadia, it's me you should be liking, not my brother. He's not. He's very naughty in the jungle. Uh, and then uh, who else is there? Ooh, la la, hooray! God is a DJ. God is a DJ. You know what that means. Come on. So Helen is in the house as well. So now we're going to see my brother making a, I don't know, some kind of a, a mask. Let's see what that is. And then after that, we're going to move on and on and on. We're going to go to Nigeria after that. And let's see what is he going on about. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it is a piece of paper. What it is, is we give you all these crafts. You're supposed to make this, you're supposed to make that. And mm, I'm still waiting. There's a lot of people who send us stuff that they've made. Me, I'm going to make something in two seconds, right? I'm going to start from now. So this thing is going to be, uh, God, what is it? A mask, a mask. I'm going to make a paper mask, right? A paper mask, a paper mask. So we start with one eye, right? You see the one eye, right? Yeah, I can see. Oh, I need to go in there like that. Yeah, I can see. Oh, I need to worry about this. Right, I can see. Okay, so that's one eye. And then I do the other eye. You know, I have to do it really quickly because you guys are waiting to see a very exciting program on how to make a mask using just the usual thing. So anyway, I've got the eyes now. I have to work out where the nose are. Okay, I can tell where the nose will be. The nose will be there, right? And this 
Gail is going to show you how to make paper mask. It's very straightforward. So make sure you got your cardboard ready, right? With me, I am ready. I've made my thing. You see, at three seconds. So why don't you make, just make stuff and then send it to me. You see, like I've made this one here. Oh, the mask, the mask, the mask, the mask. Yeah, so it needs to go like that. And then it goes like that. I'm a bit worried now. It's beginning to look like something that's actually be. Hey, I made a paper mask. Yes, I can dance with it. I can do all the dancing I can do with it. I made a paper mask. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see the paper mask? Yeah. Now you make something, send it to us, take a photo and so on, send it to us and we show it. But now, have a look at this, how to make a paper mask. That is very interesting and you can learn a few tricks. I know if you make mask already, this is another way of doing it. And if you don't, well, you got something new to learn, right? Okay, see you later. Enjoy the paper mask. Hey everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own paper mask. I'm completely awestruck by the things people create from paper, falling particularly in love with Philip Valdez's work. His deer mask and these masks by Flurry and Salk are the inspiration for today's how-to. I've made plaster wrap masks several times, but they can be a little too bulky. And I love paper mache, but I really wanted to do something a bit more intricate and detailed. For the mask I'm making today, I'm gonna to use an array of colors so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But to get the effect of the inspiration mask, I would stick with all white. All right, to get started, you need some cardstock and a razor edge. First, we're gonna create some feathers. Use your razor to cut an S shape into your paper, then follow and cut along that first cut connecting the ends, essentially cutting out a skinny S. Now use your fancy craft bond glue stick and apply glue to one side of the S. Then stick it right back onto the paper. Use that S as a guide for cutting a larger S shape around it. Starting from the top of the S, cut diagonal notches all the way down both sides of the spine. Now cut little slits all the way down both sides. And you have yourself a feather. Make sure to ruffle it up a bit. You can actually use that first S shape as a guide to create your feathers opposite. You can use that basic technique to create many different shapes and sizes of feathers. Next you're gonna fold a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of cardstock in half and cut a slit on a diagonal starting from the fold. Then cut about four inches up from where your last cut ended, going across to the other side. Next, round out the side, trimming off more if you need to. Use your razor to cut eye holes and open it up. Yay, mask! Trace that mask onto your remaining piece of cardstock and cut another mask out. Then you're gonna cut two equal lengths of ribbon. Or if you're not a ribbon person, use some strong string of some sort and use your craft bond tacky glue to glue the ends to the second mask you cut out. Then brush tacky glue all over that mask piece and place your first mask piece on top. The next process is totally not necessary, but it does create a really nice texture. Using a regular pair of scissors, cut a bunch of little U-shapes out a bunch. Then very patiently glue them one by one, row by row, onto your mask. Then go and try to find one of the eye holes you cut out before and trace around it. Then create whatever eye shape you want around that. Cut out the eye hole just a little inside of the circle to ensure coverage on your mask. Now cut the whole thing out and use that as a template to create another one. 
glue those shapes onto your mask like so. This would actually be a pretty awesome mask on its own. All right, now you're gonna strategically glue all your feathers onto the mask one at a time by applying glue to the underside spine of each feather. The glue actually remains pretty flexible when it's all the way dry, so don't worry about gluing on that fold right there. But make sure to let it dry overnight before testing that theory. Now you've got yourself a fancy paper mask. There's so many ways to use the techniques in this video to create something completely different. Make it your own. Yeah, I bet you Helen and Cheryl are thinking, say, ah, we can do that. No, you can't do that. It's for the other people who don't know what to do, and you're supposed to help them, encourage them, and so on, right? And uh, Cheryl, with your machine that makes feathers and so on, you could make 10,000 of those, can't you? Now, we are going to travel. We are going to go to Nigeria. Woo, Lee. We are going to see a dance, a masquerade dance, traditional dance, Nigerian dance called EKG Zogu. EKG Zogu is one of the traditional dances that you find in Nigeria. And some of you who know about Nigerian carnival and so on, some of these things get presented there. You know, when they do the Abuja carnival, they bring all the 36 states into Abuja. So that would be like River State, Lagos, and so on. They all come and do their thing. So some of these, that's why I've seen most of these traditional elements to it. So the quality may not be that good, but the contents and the vibe is all there. EKG is a good masquerade.